First tonight, concerns within the care home industry over how they will recruit staff from abroad after Brexit. There are now just two days before we leave the European Union, but one company which places staff from Poland across Essex and Hertfordshire says the damage has already been done. Care by us provides services for the elderly and for adults with learning difficulties, but managers say that since the referendum, 200 workers have left and gone back to their home country. In a moment, our political correspondent on what the government plans to do. But first, this from Kate Bradbrook. And what we try to do is stop these pressure ulcers. So if you have a look at this one. An induction session for new recruits about to become care workers in Hertfordshire and Essex. Helen on the right is from Spain. Joanna on the left is from Poland. Despite it being just days before Brexit, both want to start a new life and a new career here in the UK. In Spain, because the work is very bad, it's part-time jobs, and you never get the same money every month, then you can make plans for future. Joanna has previously worked in marketing and PR. She signed up with Care By Us in October, shortly before the UK was due to leave the EU. But she says Brexit didn't affect her decision to come here. Steady. Down. That's it. Cool. Great Britain will see that they need us. They will figure out how to do this, that we will can stay in the next year. Because of in this year, we have a year to see what we will be. And all I can say is like, we will see, because no one knows how it will look. Right, Joe, where the glasses go? On the other side of Bishop yeah, Stalford, Kasper, also from Poland, has been in the UK for five years. He works with adults like Joe, who have learning disabilities. Uh, what do I love about it? I love them guys. They, they make my day every single day. You go into the to, to, to workplace and, and you feel like at home, basically. So it's, it's different. You, you're not going for a shift to, to, to do what you're supposed to do. You just come here and live, live their lives, basically. You help them out, you, you, yeah, you, you're here for them. That's what I like. <laughs> it's here in Poland's capital, Warsaw, that some workers come to sign up to become carers in the UK. But with the country's economy booming, it seems it's not as appealing as it used to be. Yes. The firm's Polish recruitment manager, Joanna, says it's now so difficult to attract care workers here, and because of it, they've had to make cuts. As you see, it's quite quiet because I had two people working here, but since Brexit, it's, it's empty. Those people had to leave. The pound dropped. Yes, you know, it's like 20% drop of a pound over those years. And for, for those people, for the candidates, like the economical reason is one of the major ones. So now th there is a small group of people who want to go abroad because Polish economy is going well. We have very low unemployment of 3%. And those people who are going abroad, they say, OK, let's go to Germany, let's go to the Netherlands. And because the money is similar and I feel OK there. Care by Us has lost 200 staff members since 2016. As workers choose to stay here in Eastern Europe, the skills gap in the east of England will have to be filled from elsewhere. Kate Bradbrook, BBC Look East in Warsaw. Well, our political correspondent, Andrew Sinclair, is here. And ministers are, are coming under quite a lot of pressure over this, aren't they? Yeah, there's a massive lobbying operation going on at the moment by the care industry. 104,000 care workers in this country come from the EU. Uh, they're currently 110 thousand vacancies uh, and one organization told us this evening that the problem is particularly acute in rural Norfolk and Suffolk but this can't all be blamed on Brexit as we heard in that film the Polish and the nearby German economies are very strong at the moment Britain isn't attractive as it used to be and also some MPs I've spoken to say that the care industry doesn't pay brilliantly and that could be why it's having difficulty recruiting foreign and British workers. 
So what will happen to EU Labour after Brexit? Well, nothing will happen next week. This will all happen in a year's time uh, when we're going to have some sort of points-based immigration system which will let in only so many people a year. Uh, those who either have a skill that we desperately need or those who earn over a certain amount, which will probably be more than either 25 or £30,000, and most care workers don't earn that much. Now, the industry is heavily lobbying the government at the moment about this. Boris Johnson suggested the other day that certain industries might get dispensation, so that's what they're really pushing for. But one more thing, though, MPs say, look, the industry, just letting in more people isn't the solution. The industry needs to look at its paying conditions as well. Andrew, thank you very much.